There are many environmental changes including sea level rise, wildfire, hurricane, and urbanization. They could all impact the source water quality and wildfire is one of the emerging concerns. First, let's understand where our water comes from. As rain falls onto forests, water flows along streams and rivers to a lake. Your local water treatment plant draws source water food filtration, coagulation, and disinfection. This treated water will then be delivered for your use. The risk of wildfire is high for those areas experience prolonged drought. Under hot and dry weather in summer, dried weeds and grasses can be easily ignited, resulting in a severe wildfire. After a forest is burned, a lot of ashes remain in the forest floor. These ashes are lightweight and are easily flushed into rivers and lakes during the raining season. The video shows here are surface runoff from a severe fire named Rag Fire in California. Sediments and ashes were flushed and mixed with nearby water bodies. Water receiving this post-fire runoff would be a problem for water treatment plants. Now, is our water supply affected by the aftermath of a wildfire? How does a wildfire affect your drinking water quality? In 2015, a wildfire named Rag Fire broke out in Northern California. Scientists took the opportunity to study the wildfire impact on drinking water quality. Once the fire was contained, scientists inspected the burned areas with closely checking on winter conditions. They were able to collect runoff drained from the burned areas. The samples were brought back to the lab. Scientists conducted experiments to simulate drinking water treatment process. First, water was filtered to remove solid particles. Chlorine as a disinfectant was added to water. Chemicals generated from water disinfection were extracted for identification and quantification using an advanced instrument named GSMS. Results of the study have been published in a professional journal. The first post-fire runoff from a major rainstorm had the worst water quality. Water samples collected from severe burn areas had a very high turbidity and muddy. When filtering this water, we collected lots of solid particles, called soto-suspended solids. Filtered water still contained high levels of dissolved organic carbon and nutrients. In water treatment process, chlorine is usually added as a disinfection to eliminate pathogens in water. Chlorine can react with dissolved constituents to form a variety of disinfection byproducts, abbreviated as DBP. Chlorophyll, also known as trilomphane, is the most commonly observed disinfection byproduct in chlorinated water. Haloacidic acid is another commonly observed disinfection byproduct. Our studies show that first post fire runoff from a severe burned areas could have a higher levels of trilomethane and elicitic acid if it is used for drinking water. How do you know these chemicals are in your water? Each water utility provides drinking water report. The easy way is to contact your local water utility or search on their internet. Let's consider the San Francisco Water System Water Quality Report as an example. The report lists a variety of water quality parameters. For drinking water disinfection, look for the section named Disinfection Byproducts and Precursors. First parameter is this total organic carbon. It could be from natural and man-made sources. It is generally not toxic but has color and taste issues. Importantly, total organic carbon can react with chlorine to form a variety of disinfection byproducts. Less the amount of DOC in source water, generally less DBP formation in your drinking water. Trilomethane and holocytic acid are two disinfection byproducts regulated by U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Many epidemic studies show these chemicals could damage the liver, kidney, and cause rectal cancer. The maximum contamination level labeled as MCL is the safety level suggested by US EPA. The average or the range shall not exceed the value of MCL. In this case, trilomethane in San Francisco water ranged from 13 to 65 with an average of 45 parts per billion. 
which was lower than the MCL of 80 part per billion. The natural forests provide us good drinking water quality. However, if any of the servants, such as wildfire, could be potential hazardous on the source water supply. It is important for us to protect this valuable natural resources. 